What have I liked about this team so far is uh, really just been how they've gotten along and supported each other uh, and their work ethic this year uh, has been a lot better. It's been a lot less excuses to miss practice. Um, everybody's uh, really done a great job of getting to practice and really practicing hard while they've been there. Um, and you can see that in the results at the meets. Um, the guys have three wins this year, which uh, is brand new to them. And uh, all that has come from that, uh, supporting each other and really trying to um, motivate each other. Uh, women have two wins so far this season, and uh, you can see how that's really helped their their mental aspect of it, and they really have come in each practice ready to attack instead of just get through it. Yeah, I mean, we have really improved, and it's pretty obvious. I think a lot of the teams in our conference have noticed. Um, it, it's, a, it's a game changer, really, for the sport in Mississippi and Jackson. Um, a lot of the uh, high schoolers are seeing the results and seeing uh, w what we're accomplishing here, and it's uh, made a little bit easier on, in recruiting. Uh, not, not super easy, but it's made a little bit better because we've kind of got a name for ourselves out there now, um, it, it, really in the southeast. Uh, I really love to see all my teammates be successful and I love to see good time jobs and I love to look at their times and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they just did that, that's crazy. And then, uh, but that doesn't always happen. And a lot of these times, especially with younger people, you you don't hit your time you want and you get really like, I, I mean, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm gonna give up on trying and just trying to encourage them and be like, look, it's one meet, you'll be fine. Even if it's two meets, just, Get back in the weight room, get back in the water, try to make yourself more explosive, tell them to stretch more and figure out ways to get better, make your body be able to work in the water a little better. And uh, that's really how I try to help them is encourage them whenever they're down and be excited for them whenever they're doing well. Yeah, uh, mindset and meets is uh, very important to me. My mind uh, controls a lot of what I do. Even if I'm not thinking it does, it, it will. Uh, I'm not always on the top of my game at every meet, uh, and if I'm kind of struggling mentally, I just kind of have a list of goals, and if I'm not hitting that top goal, I go down to my next goal, which if it's not hitting this certain time, and I'm net looking like I'm probably not going to be hitting it based on my first swim, I, it'll go down to usually trying to win, trying to make sure I'm winning, getting the points, trying to hit my next time goal if I can set something else. Uh, just kind of setting little goals for yourself. And if you don't hit the first one, it's not the end of the world. You'll hit, keep your mind pretty healthy. And I mean, I just do everything I need to prepare and make sure that my mind can uh, be ready for it. Um, I don't think it's fully kind of set in how uh, much I've uh, kind of done here. And I'm really, I, I loved it. I've loved every, every time I break a record or anything, it's really, enjoyable. I don't know if breaking records is all that's about. I really like to hit the times that I'm trying to get. I don't uh, I don't always think about records like half the time. I don't even know that I've hit the record. So uh, it's a lot of fun though. I, I think I do think about it some though. Like the night after a meet I'll be like oh wow yeah that was that was a lot of records. I'm good that we can Get, for school records, I like to hit school records just so the school looks better and so Millsap Swimming can get built a little better. It looks really good for kids to go online and see our records be a lot faster. It gets a lot more kids interested. So that's kind of one thing that I really care about for the records. Yeah, our team support I think is really solid this year. Um, whenever we have, even if it's just one swimmer in the pool, we always try to have a few people cheering for them. Because we all know that it helps, even though we, you know, we can't hear what they're saying, or we may not even know that, you know, who is there. But you know, you hear the noise, and it it does help, especially when the race gets hard. I think it's been it's been really amazing to watch, and especially to be a part of it. Because growing up, you know, if you wanted to swim in Mississippi, your options were always limited, and so when Coach Brian kind of you know, had the idea to have Millsap swimming. I was 
you know, sophomore, junior in high school swimming in Mississippi and it was like this whole new opportunity, you know, and it kind of opened up my mind and as well as other swimmers' minds to, you know, you don't have to go out of state to swim. You can stay in Mississippi and still get a good experience out of college swimming and it's just opened a lot of doors. I know it opened doors for me and I think it opened a lot of doors to just Mississippi swimmers as a whole. I think our team's goal this year, um, Coach Brian always says that we're a family or whatever, and it sounds like cheesy, but I really think we have come to realize how much it means. And so getting together like for team dinner um, or just like, you know, trying to hang out with each other as much as possible and really valuing the time that we have together, I think has been a goal that we've accomplished this year. Um, and one that we had going into the season.